In this video, we'll show you how to complete a basic program for the Pro-C P2C 400 controller. The Pro-C controller can control up to 32 stations. While it comes with a base module that includes four conventionally wired stations, it can be expanded as needed with the addition of three, nine, or 16 station modules for a maximum of 23 conventionally wired stations. The unit can control up to 32 stations when adding a PCDM output module to the Easy Decoder system with four stations under conventional control and 28 available for the two-wire path and decoders. Pro-C controller models are pre-wired with a power cord and plug for simple installation in both indoor and outdoor applications. They can also be powered using direct line voltage, which should be installed by a licensed electrician. We'll show you how to set the date and time, assign a start time to a program, set run times for each station in the program, and designate the days to water. Keep watching to learn the basic programming steps required to create an irrigation schedule. We'll also cover pump master valve operation, as well as the seasonal adjustment, manual operation, and system off functions. We'll use the arrows to navigate through the various settings, as well as the plus and minus buttons to change the current value while it's flashing. The program button allows us to go from program A to B to C. The first step in programming any controller is setting the current day and time. To do this, turn the dial to the date time position. The year will flash, signaling that it's ready to be updated using the plus or minus buttons adjacent to the display. Use the right arrow to advance the year, month, and day, pressing the plus or minus buttons for each to select the desired option. To select the time, press the right arrow until you see AM flashing on the display. Press the plus or minus buttons to change it from AM, PM, or 24-hour mode. Press the right arrow to advance to the hour and change it using the plus or minus buttons. Advance to the minutes and adjust them as well using the plus or minus buttons. The date and time have now been set. Now that the current time is programmed, we'll set programs next. But before that, let's review some terminology. A station is a group of sprinklers controlled by a single valve. A station is also known as a zone. A program is a group of stations sharing a sequential watering schedule. A schedule is an established plan that tells the controller which days of the week to run a program, as well as the number of times the program will cycle on each watering day. If all stations will irrigate on the same days and the same number of times per day, then you could program them in the same program. However, if some zones need to be watered more or less often than others, then you'll need to separate them into multiple programs with different day schedules. For even greater irrigation control, you can set various station run times in the separate programs to allow for flexible watering durations. Let's say Station 1 needs 10 minutes of watering in the morning but only requires five minutes in the evening. You can set the two run times using different programs. Each program can have a different number of start times, which is the time of day your program will initiate the watering cycle, which will cause the program to run more than once. You can schedule a program to cycle up to four times per watering day. Just know that each start time causes all the stations within a program to run a complete cycle in sequential order. To give you a deeper understanding of the programs, consider this real-life example. Let's say you have two newly seeded zones, stations 1 and 2. Since the grass is new, you may need to water both zones on a daily basis, four times a day, with the exception of Thursday because that's your mowing day. Let's also say you have two other zones, stations 3 and 4, that need to be watered only one time per day every four days. Therefore, we'll need to divide these four stations into two different programs, A and B. Program A will include stations 1 and 2 with the new grass, and program B will include stations 3 and 4 with the trees. Setting start times. To create a program, you must provide the following three items, at least one start time, station run times, and days to water. We'll start with the start times. Turn the dial to set program start times. The display will show the first start time in program A. 
The first start time represents the first complete cycle of all the stations that have a runtime in program A. We'll use the plus or minus buttons to program the time we want our system to cycle for the first time. In this case, 6 a.m. Since we want to water multiple times a day, we need to advance to the next start time so that the next program cycles a second time at 10 a.m. Next, advance to the third start time and program it for 2 p.m. Finally, set a fourth start time for 6 p.m. Pro-C controllers allow you to program a maximum of four start times per program, with three programs available, A, B, and C. If you need to cancel some of the start times later, simply press the plus or minus buttons numerous times until you find the word off. You'll find this between 11.45 p.m. and 12 a.m. All stations operate in numerical order. Only one program start time is required to activate a watering program. If a program has all four start times turned off, then that program will remain off, though all other program details are retained. Because there are no start times, no watering will occur for that program. Next, we'll assign a run time to each of the stations within program A. Turn the dial to run times. This is where we'll designate the length of time that each station will run within the program. The display will show the last program selected, A, B, or C, and the station number selected. The runtime for that station will flash. You can switch to another program by pressing the PRG button. Let's program 10 minutes on each of the two stations with new grass. Do this by pressing the plus or minus buttons. Advance to station 2 using the right arrow and program 10 minutes there as well. We'll leave the rest of the stations set to zero because stations three and four will be assigned to program B since they require a different schedule. You'll notice that at the end of the station count, the controller will give you the total runtime for all stations scheduled to run in the program. This function is known as the total runtime calculator. The last step to create program A is setting the days to water. Turn the dial to water days, and let's program it to water every day except for Thursday, which is mowing day. To activate a day, press the plus button. To cancel a day, press the minus button. We'll press the plus for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For Thursday, we'll press the minus, and for the rest of the week, we'll press the plus button. This completes program A. Now, we're ready to start the process again with program B. Let's turn the dial back to start times and press the program button to go to program B. This time we're going to program the first and only start time at 5 a.m. Because we only want program B to cycle once per watering day, we'll leave the remaining start time set to off. Turn the dial to run times. Since stations 1 and 2 have already been assigned to program A, we'll leave them at zero. Let's program 20 minutes on stations 3 and 4 which are the zones that correspond to the trees. For the days to water, we decided that stations 3 and 4, which are in program B only, need to irrigate every four days. Turn the dial to water days. We'll use the interval mode to program the schedule. To access the interval mode, press the left arrow button while the dash mark is flashing next to Monday. The interval number will flash. Use the plus or minus buttons to program the watering frequency. Since we want to water every four days, we'll program an interval of four, which means that the system will skip three days between water days, therefore watering on the fourth day. When you program an interval schedule, you'll be asked to select the number of days you want to elapse before it starts to water. Zero days left means the system will water on the very next watering start time. Thus, if we have a start time set for tonight after we're done programming it, then it will water tonight. Otherwise, it will simply water tomorrow. If we program one day left, the controller will skip one day and water on the following day. At the bottom of the display, you'll see the days of the week. This gives you the opportunity to cancel any day of the week if you decide you don't want to water on a particular day. You can also cancel odd or even days while still being in the interval schedule. Continuing with our example, 
If we usually do yard work on Thursdays, and we don't want to be surprised by the sprinklers, we'll choose to water every four days, but never on Thursdays. To do this, we'll move down to the day we want to cancel and press the minus button. This places a crossed out raindrop on top of Thursday and prevents watering on that day. Other options available when programming the days to water include odd and even days. Odd days are the first, third, fifth, and so on of every month. Likewise, even days are the second, fourth, sixth, etc. You can access the odd or even mode from the specific days of the week screen. Move the cursor to Sunday and press the right arrow button again. Odd will appear. If you press the minus button, even will appear. Whichever you leave flashing on the screen will be the one that takes effect. The 31st day of any month and February 29th are always off days if odd day watering is selected. After programming is complete, turn the dial to the run position to enable automatic execution of all selected programs and start times. As you are able to see, setting up a program requires at least one start time, run times on the stations you want to assign the program, and days to water. Next, we'll discuss the dial positions for pump master valve, seasonal adjustment, manual operation, and system off settings. We'll cover the optional solar sync sensor in a separate video. In the pump dial position, you can turn the pump or master valve on or off independently by station. The default setting for the pump or master valve circuit is on or active for all stations. Use the plus or minus buttons to enable or disable the pump or master valve for each station. The seasonal adjust dial position allows you to decrease or increase the seasonal adjustment percentage, which results in shorter or longer run times. Simply put, this is a multiplier for the base station run times. For example, if you reduce the seasonal adjustment to 50%, stations that were originally programmed to run for 20 minutes will now run for only 10 minutes. You can use the seasonal adjust value to quickly apply shorter or longer run times to all stations without having to reprogram the run times one by one. This is a big time saver. When you program base station run times, it's important to keep this value at the factory default of 100%, or the seasonal adjust won't function properly. We're going to skip the solar sync function for now. Instead, we'll move on to the manual dial position. From here, you can activate a single station for a manual run. Simply choose the station you want to start, ensure that it has the desired run time set, and turn the dial to run. The station will start watering, and you'll notice a sprinkler flashing on the display while the run time counts down. You can skip forward or backward to manually run the other individual stations before the manual cycle elapses. While a manual signal station is running, press the left or right arrow buttons to select a new station, and press the plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the runtime. This will stop the previously running station and activate the newly selected station. If you want to manually activate an existing program, this can be done with the simple push of one button. This feature is great for a quick cycle when extra watering is needed, or if you'd like to scroll through the stations to inspect your system. With the dial in the run position, hold down the right arrow button for two seconds. After a two second pause, the program will begin. This feature automatically defaults to program A. You can select program B or C by pressing the PRG program button. Press the left or right arrow buttons to scroll through the stations. You'll use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the station run times. The default run time settings will match what is currently set for each program. The system off dial position is used to deactivate any station or program that is currently running. When the dial is set to system off, it also inhibits all automatic irrigation indefinitely. To return the controller to normal automatic operation, turn the dial back to the run position. Programmable days off. There is an option to disable all automatic irrigation for a designated period of time without leaving the dial in the system off position. This is called programmable days off. This feature permits the user to stop all programmed irrigation for a designated period from 1 to 99 days. At the end of the programmable off period, the controller will resume normal automatic operation. Turn the dial to the system off position. Press the plus button and a 1 will display next to off. 
Press the plus button as many times as needed to set the desired number of days off, up to 99 days. Turn the dial back to the run position. The controller is now set to off for the set number of days. The days off remaining will decrease at midnight each day. When the countdown reaches zero, the display will show the normal time of day and the previously set irrigation program will resume at the next scheduled start time. In this video, we've covered the steps for setting up a basic program. However, the Pro-C controller offers other advanced features that will be discussed in a separate video. For detailed programming information, consult the owner's manual at hunterindustries.com.